show you my game. So it is it's not done at all. I'm just gonna warn you guys ahead of time. But it is like kinda done. I built it on the advanced locomotion system, which comes with very basic AI and a bunch of animations and weapon aiming and stuff. And I just built on it. And then I also built a huge city map. So I'm gonna show you the small map first. The small map is essentially just testing out all of these stuff before I move on to the big map. Essentially, I have a character. I used a lot of... I used any useful um, content pack I could get on the marketplace, but I did a lot of stuff myself. I programmed in splines, um, these boxes that cause the cars to break if they're on AI mode, vehicles based off of an AI parent class, call boxes. These only turn off call boxes turn off and act as tick when you uh call boxes turn off and act as tick when you enter or exit them so let me just show you that uh, essentially These are all NPCs with one of six random skins. Um, their facial expressions are a little messed up. You might notice on some of them. Not that guy, but... Yeah, that girl. Yeah, now... Yeah, there is a problem. The call boxes don't quite work yet. But I've been working on everything. Trying to get everything working. I converted the project to C++, which is kind of pointless since I don't know C++ very good. I did it for this magic mode thing that I can't figure out how to use. Yeah. I also added, I rebuilt my pipeline for importing Lego models and imported the rest of the Lego models that I had. So I've got like a fairy. And some other crap. You know. And the call boxes can be sized. They're a specific actor. I quick kind of click on them. But yeah, that's one of the call boxes. But I I programmed them in. Oh no, that's nav mesh bound volume. This is a call box. So I programmed in these boxes and essentially when you, they turn on and off the ticks to all high performance cost actors in them. So essentially, I'm going to show you on my big map. So third person C P. since I actually made this map in third person first, but I decided to go with the ALS system since I added a lot. I want the paint. Alright, it's gonna take a little while to load. Alright, so here we go. 
So, uh, as you can see, this is like the big map. Oh, yeah. That was bad. Yeah, I fell from a really tall, tall height and you just fell through the world. So, yeah. I told you guys it was in beta in it. Uh, as you can see, when I enter a call box, all of these vehicles start moving. As you can see, the world smaller objects only load in as I move close to them, like the sidewalk tiles, and that is because of the nav mesh, I added a giant nav mesh bounds volume around the world, oh, I just got hit by that car, well, I ran into it, and Alright, so I just got into this car and now I can drive around. You know where the peanut butter is? No. Sorry about that. My sister wanted to know where the peanut butter is, but I have no clue. Um. But yeah. You can see the sidewalk loading in better. If you look in the uh, bottom left hand corner, you can actually see uh, the mini map. It's not following the car, but it followed the person until it got terminated. Uh, I it got in the car. And we're going to drive to the beach. <laughs> Take this road. This one's pretty cool. I just made it. A lot of the building scale was off, like they went way bigger than they would be in reality. I don't know, maybe I have Alice in Wonderland syndrome or something. Maybe I just didn't really know how to uh, scale the buildings. As you can see, sometimes when you leave a car, it like completes the game completely glitches out and it doesn't know like what to do. Sometimes it's fine and you exit the car and spawn, but sometimes it just breaks, which is, I mean, to be expected from a beta game. I have these Lego models of ships representing like the edge of the world. Let's go swimming on this beach. As you can see, the game is pretty glitchy, but. I mean, yeah, to be expected from an indie game, this, in beta, it's just like a Jake the alpha, alpha build, really. You can swim. Go down, up, jump, yeah. I'm 
pretty much done with the map, actually. Like, the map itself, after I fix some terrain glitches and maybe make some buildings, adjust the amount of triangles in buildings so that they're not causing the game to glitch when you get close to a really huge building. Uh, watch this. I still need to add a barrier here to keep people from doing this. As you can see, this is the uh, called distance volume, which causes it so that the game's not trying to load everything in at once. And I'm just going to show you the basic world at this point. You've got a beach. You've got an airport over there. You've got mountains surrounding the world, preventing people from getting out. Yeah, we've got Ferris wheels. I'm gonna build a boardwalk. Uh, and I've got some empty land back there I can like turn into farm land or whatever. Pretty cool, huh? So anyway, that's my game. It's it's not like a world class triple A video game, but for a somebody who uh, is creating their very first video game, I don't think it's bad, but have your opinion. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry the microphone is terrible, and see you in the next video.